hi there. Um, I've been asked to do a conscious business reading for this lady. So this is a reading for a lady called Kylie, and it's a conscious business reading. And I always go in with a couple of specific questions to feel into where the person's at and then what the business wants to say to their owner, <laughs> because you are very consciously connected to your business as you as you are to your home, to your body, to your car. So your business will be showing you certain aspects. So this is just a quick in and out, but um, this is the reading that I've just done. So my first question is what needs to happen for Kylie to feel more satisfied with her business? And um, what I get there is a, a feeling. I, most of my readings come through in a feeling. So there's a need to chill out. I'm feeling there's a hustle and there's a hassle <laughs> underneath the surface. Um, you know, like those images that you get of like the ducks going along the water and giving a very good um, idea of what's going on, but underneath it's little feet are going like little crazy things. So that's the hustle that's going on in your subconscious. And it becomes a little bit clearer and more evident further on in the reading. So when I look into your world, I'm first looking into your mind and it's kind of spongy. It's, it's soaking up a lot of stuff. If you're an empathic and if you're sensitive, you're taking a lot of what's going on in the world around you. So it's sponging it all in. But there's no there's no key focus and there's no one direction. Um, OK, there's nothing concrete for your spirituals, for your guides, for your soul, for your higher self to start delivering to you because it's there's it's just too soft and fluffy. So they really need um, a focus. So this is what we're going to be reading into there as well. So there's nothing to sort of grab onto. So you've had glimpses. Um, you've had glimpses of it. It's been absolutely you know, fantastic. You've been on fire and it's absolutely gone brilliantly. But the problem is here is there's not repeating the same methods because those old those methods that you, even though you enjoy them, they're leaving you a little bit cold. I kind of got really cold in my body when it was like going over the, the things that you've done before. I really get that you're a person who's evolving, continually evolving. So what you need to keep bringing to the table is fresh and new and original, but it's all based on the same the same path. I hope you're understanding what I'm saying here because I'm trying to translate all the images that I'm getting. Um, so I'll, even though it's with the same destination, with the same path, but what you're offering is very original compared to like keeping repeating on something that you've done before. And this is a problem that many um, conscious businesses have is that we keep to have to evolve and listen to what what the guidance is rather than thinking we know what we're doing because we haven't got a clue. As earth beings, as humans, we haven't really got much of a clue. Um, it feels very uh, spacious. I could almost say empty inside of you. That's almost like you're waiting for something to land, something precious. You know it's out there, but you're really waiting for something precious to land that you can really get going with and, you know, really get your teeth into. You feel more satisfied when you have a direction you can follow and you can follow that. But sometimes we're looking for it in our mind or in what we've done in the past, rather than letting something truly, truly land. There might also be something in there about you're not really sure if this is, you know, this you're waiting for this to land when you should really think you'd be, be getting on with something else. Um, for now, it's just evading you. So I'm asking then, and I don't really know which way to go around it. So what does your business want from you? I didn't really get anything at that point. So I had to ask the other question first. What's the vision that Source has for you? Right. So when I ask this, what is, what's the vision that Source has for you? The breath that I take is so full and so slow. And it just fills you up, but slows you all the way down. So it's like a a real connecting up to the heavens and down to the earth. You are the conduit and you are the, uh, the connector between the heavens and the earth. It slows you down. There's a purpose to your movement. There's a purpose to your path. I can see it and I can feel it as I step into your energy. 
And what I'm also getting is there's a vision then that you are surrounded by clouds, bright, bright white clouds. And it's not like you're walking on clouds or drifting on clouds or being traveling on clouds like a magic carpet. It's just big clouds, like huge, great big soap bubbles. Um, maybe that is resonating with you and something in there. Now, the, the, the feeling here is you're not panicked. The energy is not pushy at all. In this place, it is serene and it is on point. It's like it's exactly where you need to be, though your human gets very upset with that. And this is when it becomes spongy and this is when it becomes no direction and confused. So you're not panicked, it's not pushy, and this place is very serene and you're on point. You are so patient in this point. Um, and it's like you're waiting for the arrival of a best friend. And it can be a new best friend or an old best friend. And I also got like, it's almost like somebody's passing through. So, and then there it is, all of a sudden, there it is, there's a connection. There's a really, really good, solid connection and you're in the embrace of it. And you're with a real, true soul, a soul sister. You're communicating on a soul to soul level. You're like minded. It's a really true friend, like a really good friend, like somebody you've known in the past lives, those kind of things. So you bring them to a new understanding. You bring them to your level, if you like, of understanding. There's a state of mind, and the state of mind here is so peaceful. So I don't know, I don't know what you do. I never know when I do a reading exactly what people do, so that, that really helps. Um, now looking into your world and asking what your business wants from you. Your business shows me that it is confused. There is no direction. It's split into several different pieces. It's fragmented and lost under lots and lots of other stuff. Your business wants to f your full undivided attention, your loyalty. Um, you know, for example, certain days at certain times, it's like having a date. Oh, I've got a date with my business today my conscious business. So it, it wants that loyalty rather than just higgledy piggledy. And well, I'll do it when I feel like it or when I get an idea. It's just like your focus can also come in when you are setting a date or setting a time with your intention that you're going to get information, you're going to be waiting for something and it's going to come. So you set yourself into that state of mind, believing that that's going to happen. Um, anyway, this is just a quick in and out of what um, your business wants to say to you, what makes you feel more satisfied within your conscious business, what's going underneath the surface, and also what's the vision that Source has for you? What's your genius? What's your part that you're playing in this whole evolution of the population of the planet through our businesses? Um, I'm Fiona Robertson and I do these kind of readings. I help people to be more conscious with themselves, build a strong relationship with yourself, connect with your soul so that your soul can intervene, how you ask for things, how you ask your soul to provide things from <laughs> sewing a needle, putting a thread in a needle, you know, parking spaces. But So how do we go into being the creator of what we're here for? Um, once we know what the vision that Source has for us, this is this is my genius to help you understand what's channeling through so that we can ask the right questions so we can start to get the, the correct answers and the path that we are meant to follow. Hopefully this is helpful for you. Thank you very much. And um, I'm very happy to do quick in and out readings. I do longer readings. I do, do more precise readings. And for the ladies who uh, join me, they tend to sort of go for a month at a time and we do a reading a week. But my main purpose is to teach you how you can get into that place so that you can not just read for yourself, but you can also read for other people. So you're really specifically tuning into your intuition so that you're not doing things from your memory or from what you've been taught, but the, the information is fresh, original, and it's all yours, because this is the way that we're going as conscious business women and men. Um, have a great day. And again, I will speak to you soon.